Okay, part two of this uh, homestead, uh, th there's two ways you can actually register your domain name. And this is what I wanted to uh, explain to you in this second video. Just real quickly, uh, if you're in your account, and you've, here's what I was explaining in the first video, your your domain name looks like your name. In this case, it's cocohair.homestead.com, and you want to create your uh, your domain name. There's two ways you can do it. So you can go to your domains, as I explained before, and when this loads up, you can go in there and put your uh, domain name that you wish in there. For example, you could put in you could put in Coco Hair, and you could click Check Availability, and I know that it will be gone because I've set this up in a different way for this particular person. That's how you would normally do it, or you could say Use a domain you already own. Now, this is the other way of setting it up. Normally, you you could do it this way. This is the best way to do it that I find. Um, is use a domain you already own. So what you do is you would put that in there. You'd say use this domain, and it would come up with two steps below here. The first step would say you need to point your domain to. Uh, you need to use these uh, DNS. They call it a domain name server um, name, and I'll show you what that is now. I'll just go in into another account here in GoDaddy where I suggest you get your domain names from if you don't want to use your domain names here. Now the reason why we would register our domain names from GoDaddy is perhaps you've already got one there already and you didn't know any better so someone said oh use GoDaddy so that's very good they're very easy to use and set up once you know exactly what to do or if you wanted to set up another separate website or a blog and this is only a temporary means of setting up a website for you and you want to go to something more extensive later on you, you'd use something like GoDaddy now to get your GoDaddy uh, domain names go to step 3 here and you can go down scroll down and click on the GoDaddy banner and that will give you uh, your the best price on domain names and then you can go to I can host or uh, host gator to get your hosting but for now don't worry about that just worry about our um, our domain names because that's the lesson that we're in so let me just switch over to GoDaddy and I'll show you what I mean Okay, so when you come to, to GoDaddy, uh, you'll need to create a free account, and then once you're allowed to, once you get your free account, you're allowed to log in, and you'll need to click on My Account, which shows you all of your, uh, all of your different things that you can have, all your different products. You'll need to click on Domains, and those domains you'll need to then scroll through. You can get a results page down here, and you, I always click 20 because I have quite a number of domains and so what you do is you just scroll through and I'll scroll through and find one that actually is connected to a uh, homestead based website now let's have a look here let's let me find one for you okay so Adam Price country music has one available so what you need to do is click on launch and there's a few ways you can set this up now the way you'll need to set this up with uh, Gay Daddy and Homestead is if we scroll over here, when you're in Homestead, they're going to ask you to insert some name servers. Now, this is what I mentioned about um, the name servers. I mentioned DNS. It's not DNS. It's actually called the name servers. So you need to come down to this little area down here and, called name servers, and you need to click on set domain server, set name servers. Now, once you come back over here, you'll notice that this will normally be set on. Um, it'll be on one of these up here so you need to turn the little box down to here and you need to put what um, ho um, Homestead give you is these three addresses ns1.mindservice, ns2 and ns3 then you click on OK and that will take roughly I'll cancel out of there now that will take roughly uh, probably half an hour for them to set up and you're going to find those in your domain service when they actually start up once you've got your use your own existing domain and you hit use this domain below here it'll be step one you need to point your domain your name service so that's what they're asking you to do is point those name servers down here stick the ones that they give you into those and hit save and then you'll find another message part two of uh, homestead will be we are going to take care of the rest for you so that's how it works and then that will take you approximately it could take anything up to 48 hours for homestead to set that up for you however I've found it's normally quicker than that now if you get stuck um, you can go up to help and you can click on view help which brings up 
a My Tickets area or a Help Center, I always click on My Help Tickets. And from there, you can go in there and you can talk to them, set up a new ticket. So I'll show you what this does, so you understand it and uh, a bit more thoroughly. So that will load. Okay, so what you'll do is you can say, okay, I need to um, start a new ticket. Now, it should actually start up here, my help, my help tickets. And that will take you into here and you can create a new ticket up here in the right hand corner so you can go help new help ticket bang and it will start up and you'll find all your tickets down in here and um, they're pretty quick with helping you so it's really really useful so I'll get out of there and another thing you're going to need in your account if I'll click out of there in your account to the top right you need to make sure that you log out or sign out of every session that you do and also if you're calling them on the phone you'll need this uh, pin show my pin they'll ask you for that so you need to click show my pin and get that before you talk to them live on the line and um, I've even had them come onto my website I'm in Australia for example and they're in America I've rang them up in the morning in Australia which is their evening time there in, in the US and uh, they've come onto my computer and fixed the problem um, remotely uh, so it's fantastic their service I highly recommend Homestead uh, as a very effective way to set yourself up uh, with uh, a very easy to use uh, niche website. The other way now that I'll just ex quickly explain is forwarding. If we go back into our domain names here, the other way of setting it up, if you wanted to leave your, uh, if you didn't want to go through any of this process and you wanted it set up really quick, you go back to website manager and we'll let that load and you see Coco hair.homestead.com you'd take this and you'd try I'd highlight that now it's not letting me highlight it now for some reason anyway you would take this cocoa hair there we go and you'd right click you go copy you go to domain manager and this is if you don't want to uh, set up the name service and you would go to forwarding and what forwarding does is it forwards a domain name so in this case it would forward <coughs> adampricecountrymusic.com to cocohair.com or cocohair.homestead.com so you would go forward domain you'd click on that and a box would pop up and this is the very simple way of getting your domain name connected very quickly because this forwarding normally only takes uh, half an hour as well so it's a lot quicker than actually setting the name servers you would then paste in your where you want it to forward to in this case it's cocohair.homestead.com and you would click on OK and when you do that it actually sets it up in about half an hour I'll cancel out of here now and bang you're up and running with uh, your domain name that you choose in GoDaddy and it's forwarded to your homestead uh, domain name very quickly now the other reason why I suggest you go for GoDaddy as opposed to setting them up in homestead is they want you to if you're if you're happy with five pages in here and that's all you want set up it's very expensive to upgrade two hundred dollars just for an email address or five email addresses so when you go to GoDaddy and you actually set up your domain name you can get an email address with your domain name so I could have Adam at adampricecountrymusic.com set up in here all part of the twelve dollars that I pay for my domain name which I think is a, a lot more cost-effective way than having to pay two hundred dollars uh, for your domain name through Homestead so just be aware of that and uh, once you've set that up you're good to go you'd no, probably need to talk to Homestead um, tr sorry uh, GoDaddy rather about setting your email address up and GoDaddy is very good for setting that up. Now, if I just go back to my account, I'll show you something here, how quickly you can ring them. Up in the top right-hand corner, sales 24-7 support. You ring this number or the number from your country that shows up. So, for example, I would go um, down here. They've changed it. They're always improving things. So, for, um, for me, I would ring 480. It's a toll-free number, and it connects you 24-7 uh, to their helpline you can say to them I want to set up an email account so your email account will be in here and uh, you can go in there and set them up your free email address for Adam Price or any of the ones that I've got and away you go so they'll do it all for you and help you I hope this has helped you out